Briggs Law Firm. My son, Bo, and I practice exclusively in the representation of accident victims. And we've been asked many times why we would support and sponsor the program Ask the Cops with Sheriff Blair and Chief Graham, who are in the world of criminal law enforcement. Well, these legal rights actually overlap. In civil law enforcement, we're in the business of recovering for victims of accidents that which has been taken away from them and holding the responsible party accountable. Both civil law and criminal law share those common goals. So we're all in the field of law enforcement, and for that reason, we're proud to sponsor Ask the Cops on The Voice of Ocala with Buddy Martin. So if your family or a friend needs help in an accident situation, feel free to contact us at our website, www. The Briggs Law Firm. We're located in the Ocala Historic District. Right on the southwestern corner of the square sits one of the finest dining establishments in Florida, Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood Restaurant. Mark's offers big city dining amenities in a charming and small town setting. It's a rare treat to experience both the ambiance and the exquisite cuisine in a friendly atmosphere. Ocala's finest restaurant serves the finest beef, the freshest seafood, premium wines, and naturally fresh vegetables. From valet parking to splendid service, Mark's offers the complete package. Check it out today. Mark's Prime Seafood and Steakhouse Restaurant. Guy Harvey Checking is now exclusively available at Gateway Bank. With Guy Harvey Checking, you will receive Gateway's premium checking account plus several other Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation features, including membership to the Guy Harvey Hammerhead Nation, free Guy Harvey t-shirt, and an exclusive Guy Harvey debit card. At Gateway Bank, we will make a $50 donation to the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation for every new account open. This is just one more reason why people choose Gateway Bank. Sign up today for your exclusive Guy Harvey Checking account with Gateway. Details available at gatewaybankcfl.com, member FDIC. If you've been hearing about the crowded Eaton's Beef Sandbar and Grill and were worried because you couldn't get in, I've got some good news for you. Seating is now available. While you're there, look up Chef Dave Del Rio. He'll buy you a drink. Now is the time for you to finally see firsthand what your friends are talking about. At Eaton's Beef Sandbar and Grill, try Chef Dave's tantalizing Louisiana menu. Check out those gorgeous legwear sunsets. Eaton's Beef Sandbar and Grill on beautiful legwear. Seating now available. Whether you're building it up or knocking it down, get it done, rent it now. Sunbelt Rentals is here to make your job a little easier. Our knowledgeable staff will help you find the right equipment for any job, big or small. Did you know that Sunbelt Rentals carries heaters, air conditioners, generators, lighting, traffic control, and so much more? So whether you're building it up or knocking it down, we've got the equipment you need. Get it done, rent it now. And right now, for a limited time, you can have it for less. Just by mentioning this ad, if you rent it Friday afternoon, you can keep it the whole weekend and only pay for one day. But this is a limited time offer, so stop into Sunbelt Rentals today, Northwest 27th, just a quarter mile east of I-75. For more information, just give us a call, 352-369-9101. 352-369-9101. Sunbelt Rentals. Get it done, rent it now. 352-369-9101. On the next AM Ocala Live from the voice of Ocala, Buddy Martin and Tom Schmitz will be calling in from the Coach LPGA Women's Golf Championship. Christopher Williams, head coach of the Marion County Showtime Stallions professional basketball team, will be speaking about their doubleheader on January 29th with the Orlando Magic and the Milwaukee Bucks. And then News Bites, where we take the hottest news and current events and serve it bite size. Have all of your gardening questions answered by Master Gardener Carol Ann Baldwin. And then Bob Kennedy will be here from Berkshire Hathaway Home Team Realty answering your questions about buying and selling a home. For all of your disaster restoration needs, call Joe Reichel. He will be on the air with damage control. And then from the Today Show, Gary Milievsky will be on the air going to talk to us about International Data Privacy Day. Dr. Andrew J. Bauer is retired from the United States Army after 29 years of service. He'll be speaking about the symptoms and risk factors of pediatric thyroid disease. All of that plus fun with Joe on the next day in Ocala Live right here on The Source, WOCA 96.3 FM. 1370 AM.
We have dueling phones going now with Woody out in Arizona. He's calling us. We're calling him. We're hooking up. We're losing him. He's losing us. He's trying to call us. So we'll keep trying to see if we can get him on at least for a few minutes before we go to break. Um, Woody Page out in Arizona waiting for the uh, the games to begin. Uh, media day is tomorrow. And um, <clears throat> that's when the uh, – you can always see the fatigue setting in. Uh, I'm sure that's why Bill Belichick did what he did to have the press conference last uh, – earlier in the week to get rid of inflate gate, whatever you want to call it. But I believe we've got Woody Page on the phone now, finally, through the modern technology. Woody Page, the Denver Post, his Denver Post, a sports show. Saw it last night, quite interesting. And, of course, around the horn and the, his Denver Post column joins us now from Arizona. Woody, how are you, my friend? Well, I'm running frantically. I just got off of doing my own show. <laughs> so I'm thrilled to be with you, buddy. And uh, we were having breaking news about uh, that uh, person of interest. You might have seen this. A person of interest uh, is the locker room attendant who took the balls from the officials and had uh, of the Patriots. And there seems to be a debate down here whether that should be a story or not. So. Well, what do you think? I, I have a feeling about that, and I know that the news is news, and, you know, you got to report the news, and this is news and all that kind of stuff. But, I mean, let's be honest. This is the greatest sporting spectacle in the world, maybe, and it's being overshadowed. That is being overshadowed by this so-called inflate gate, and you as a reporter appreciate that. Where do you stand on this? I saw your show last night. Are, are you at a point where you just wish it all go away, or are you going to continue to report it, write about it? Uh, nah, buddy, I'm in the media. I- I, I briefly, who cares? If it wasn't the New England Patriots, nobody cares. They go, if Tom Brady come out and said, you know, yeah, I told him to do it. Uh, but there's two issues here, three issues, I guess. Number one, it's like political things. It's it's President Clinton and President Nixon that come out and said, yeah, we did it. You know, we did I'm sorry. We did it. Uh, I'm sorry. But both of those became major, major uh discussions in the United States and led to the downfall of one of the presidents and almost got the other one impeached because of the cover-up. You know, I didn't have sex with that woman. The other day, it's a third-rate burglary. No, well, one, it wasn't a third-rate burglary that brought down Dixon. It was the cover-up. So, you know, it's, it's Tom Brady or Bill Belichick said, yeah, we did it for this one game. It's raining. We did it. People would say, Belichick's a cheater. They would say to Brady, well, he admitted it. Let's move on. But because you know, everybody's denying, denying, denying. It's like Cleopatra. They're all in denial. That's where they want to be is in denial. I so, got you. Uh, I got that little pun. Yeah, I know. It, it, <laughs> it was one of my bad puns. Probably a blackboard to ball. But uh, I think that's what caused it. But Pete Prisco, who you've known forever, mm-hmm. me too, Pete Prisco just was on you know, my show here, and he said, you know what the fans want? They want to sit down with their chips and their beer and their friends and their guacamole, they want to mix that with either Loki or Vegas or their friends. They want to look at their fantasy football people, and they want to watch the game and the, and the halftime show, Katy Perry and all that. It's the media that's doing this. So you're absolutely right. You know that, but it's the media we're, that we're 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 what we are. <laughs> exactly. And, and speaking of which, <clears throat> speaking of which, I had earlier uh, on the show. Hubert Mizell, your friend of mine who formerly covered for the St. Petersburg Times, he covered 32. I'm somewhere around 29 Super Bowls. I'm hoping you can get us up to 100. How many have you covered? Uh, my first one was uh, number 10 with the – with the because you asked me earlier today, and so I was talking to a guy from Miami or something, and uh, I told him my first one was Pittsburgh and, and the Dallas – in Miami, mm-hmm. number number ten, Lin Swan makes like three or four great catches in the game, and he only has three or four catches. And so I've been to uh, thirty nine. This will be forty. I think that'll make it for us. I think that'll make a hundred. How about that? <clears throat> hundred Super Bowls. <clears throat> I know uh, it, they kind of all run together. We have those ones. You have those ones in Denver. I remember Tampa Bay's really well because obviously it was the Raiders and it was against Gruden and it was a it was a it was a sap and those guys going out with the glory and whatever, uh, and of course I can't forget the the ones early ones that said the Broncos lost when you and I were covering them, but what the one or two that you that you pick out and say this is what I'd like to remember the most is there one Super Bowl or two Super Bowls that you would like to to reflect on? 
Yeah, I'm John Elway, uh, because you and I covered him from his very beginning in the NFL and covered him through three, you know, disgusting Super Bowls, including the worst was probably, you know, not the probably, it was, 55 to 10. And I was sitting on the show today, Mike Shanahan, who you were around forever, was with the 49ers when they played San Diego in a Super Bowl in Miami. And I was with Shanahan and his wife on Friday night at the commissioner's party, and he said, my only goal for this game is to beat the, the Chargers worse than we got beat by uh, San Francisco. Mm-hmm. And, the char- and the 49ers go out in that game and, and Steve Young throws six touchdown passes, and they're up like 38 to nothing or something. And the, the, the coach, Seifert, decides to take him out. And Shanahan is pissed because he became the Broncos' coach the next day. He's pissed because he wants to make it 73 to 6 or something. <laughs> As opposed to 55 to 10, which, by the way, Terry Bradshaw predicted that score, by the way. He picked it picks 55 to 7, I believe he picked. So, yeah, so the helicopter yeah. move on LA was a great one against Green Bay. That would be. Yeah, I was about to. I, I think uh, Terrell Davis in that game with a migraine. Can't see in the first half comes back and, and and is MVP and has about 180 yards rushing, 150 or something like that rushing. I think uh, I I will. Yeah, you know, I was picking like one of the most meaningful. Joe Namath predicting that you know they'd beat mm-hmm. Colts and everybody thought he was cool, and uh, that was back when media events were around, held around the pool. I and, I, and by the way, I was at I was at that around that pool, and Thomas Mitch and I were talking about this. Some people think he predicted the win at the pool. No, he did not. That prediction he did came, it at a luncheon, didn't he? It, he actually did it at a bar one night when the Miami Herald reporter was hanging around there. Um, and so um, that, it, it did not happen at the pool, which was, by the way, a cool interview. Just sit around the pool. Imagine that today happening, huh? interviewing your star quarterback. Yeah. Uh, people ask me all, uh, this year, and we talked about it around the horn, uh, you know, Odell, Odell Beckham Jr.'s catch, wasn't that the greatest in the NFL history? And I said, no, no, it didn't mean anything. I mean, it, you know, the Giants weren't any good. The catch that made the difference, the, the pass, the catch was Eli Manning gaping, uh, this incredible rush that he's getting. He's out of pocket. He makes his throw, and it bounces off a helmet. Mm-hmm. The guy catches it. Tyree, David Tyree. Yeah, he, incredible. People don't even know it. Incredible. That was, they're playing a game. They're playing a game against a team that's going to have them be really undefeated season to beat the Miami Dolphins because they will have won more games than the Dolphins did and uh, and played a you know much tougher schedule during a shorter time. And I'm sitting there, buddy. And, and my memories of Super Bowls are being with you or uh, having, you know, a nice time or, or there being an unusual play. I knew a guy who was a TV a writer, and he wrote a book called The Undefeated Season, The Patriots, The Perfect Season, Patriots, Perfect Season. And I talked to him before the game, and, he, and I said, how close are you to finishing? Because you and I have written, you know, combined probably, 15, 18 books or something like that. Something like that. And, yeah, and I said, how close are you already finished? He said, I got one more chapter tonight. <laughs> and mm, as soon as the game ended, I thought, my poor friend, this book is gone. I've never <laughs> seen that book. <laughs> that's a, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a real loss. <laughs> now, we gotta... I, I want to uh, – I'm sorry. No, Go I, ahead, you, you, I, I my assume, memories no. are I, – I went from the senior – I was at the Senior Bowl one year, and I, I – I rode with Paul Zimmerman, who was the Dr. Z, yeah. Sports Illustrated forever, you know him. And he's in very awful condition now. But I said, tell me, he's been to every Super Bowl. I said, tell me a memory of, as we drive to New Orleans from wherever that senior bowl is played, somewhere in Alabama or someplace. And I said, Mobile. Uh, <clears throat> Mobile, yeah, you're right. I, I forget. But we're driving. I said, give me a memory of every Super Bowl. He said, only if you'll give me one. And so we exchange stories, and I'm writing notes, and he's keeping his mind. And our stories were about a play or a moment. Mm-hmm. And a moment to me is when the Tennessee Titans did not score. <laughs> they were on yeah. the they were they ended the end of the game in the Super Bowl. People said these games are the most awful at the end of the year. They take two weeks off. Everything that game came down to a guy making a catch, and if he could just stretch his arm, another three feet yeah. or if he could he could have 
than the start of the game. The game ended on the one yard line. Yeah, how about I mean, the how about the what, drop what, pass by Jackie Smith for the Cowboys? Remember that one? That yeah, was an unbelievable uh, uh, game. Uh, when I was on when, yeah, when I was on the Hall of Fame selection committee, they, they debated Lynn Swan and John Stallworth every year, and they go, Lynn Swan, Swan deserves to be in because of what he did in the Super Bowls. And I said, well, does Jackie Smith not deserve <laughs> to be in the Super Bowl because he dropped one? And Jackie Smith uh, and and Lynn Swan were were are mem- are memorable because of what they did in Super Bowls, not anything else. I think I think Max McGee, and I'm not old enough to know that, but Max McGee in the first Super Bowl, which wasn't called the Super Bowl, uh, was hung over. He went out that drunk because he, he knew wasn't going to play a minute. Well, yeah. And Boyd Dollar, a guy I've gotten to know over the years because he was from Wyoming, and I've talked to him a bunch of times. You know, he got hurt right at the beginning of the game. Uh, Max McGee goes in and catches two touchdown passes. Yeah. Bart Starr is the MVP, but the MVP was Max McGee because you know they ran the ball with Horning and Taylor all the time. Exactly, Bart yeah. Starr. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah and so, well, you know, I, I just want to say before right before I before you, that the computer cuts us off here in thirty seconds, I just have a quick question for a short answer. I'm sorry to have to run out of time here, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, could give me. Do you think that the 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 whole thing with Inflate Gate will inspire the Patriots? And who do you like in the game? I mean, you got twenty seconds for your prediction. On Monday. On Monday, I will change my mind probably. But on Monday, I think the Seahawks will win by three. Uh, you could be right. The, the New England Patriots and, and people say that the Patriots are going to be motivated by this. So, But I, I think you throw out the last game and Seattle was the best team in the league for ten games. The great Woody Page from uh, newspaper, radio, television, <laughs> and now close, a good show, by the way, and you and Les Shapiro, and I assume you're doing it down there. So uh, uh, one of these days I hope to get big enough to be on that show, and uh, I'm coming out your way soon. So I will see you this summer out in the Mile High City and hopefully get a chance to debut on your television program. Woody, it's you're always good, a pleasure. Buddy. Always a pleasure. Have Thank a great time in Arizona, my friend. Thank you, sir. All right. What drove Von Page, as we used to call him. All right, we'll take a break. Come back after the other side of the news. We'll be talking to Joe Williams, also the Maha City, and Franz Beard right here on Buddy Sports Page. WOCA, the source. Imagine yourself in a quaint bistro right in the heart of a charming French village about to indulge in real French cuisine. Located in beautiful, vibrant downtown Ocala, La Cuisine offers authentic French cuisine and wine from an award-winning menu. Patrice and Elodie moved to Ocala in 2009 because they fell in love with it. And you're going to fall in love with La Cuisine if you haven't already. La Cuisine offers a quick bite for lunch or a leisurely dinner in a comfortable and relaxed setting. So call La Cuisine of Ocala today at 352-433-2570. It's like a direct call to Paris. Let's give it up for old asphalt and a new pair of shoes. Let's give it up for a good rhythm meeting a sweet melody. For a church cookout under clear skies. Let's give it up for good things coming together, like bundling your auto and other policies together with an Allstate agent, which can save you time and keep you better protected. Let's give it up for good. To receive your comparative insurance quote, contact the McDonald Agency at 622-2333. Hi, I'm Lisa Midget, owner of KMF Downtown Fitness. It's 2015 and it's time for you to reach your fitness goals. With no membership fees, you only pay for what you want at KMF Downtown Fitness, whether it's one of our dynamic group classes or our personal and small group training. We are a small studio right downtown that helps men and women reach their health and fitness goals every day by simply being the best at what we do. KMF is located at 9 Northeast 1st Avenue, right across from the downtown square. For more information, visit our website at kmfocala.com. Need a car? Need financing? Need somebody to cut through the red tape and send you rolling down the highway? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Got great credit and just prefer a quality pre-owned car at a fair price from somebody you can trust? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Want to avoid high pressure to feel appreciated and be able to choose from a wide selection of auto check and Carfax certified vehicles? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Prestige Auto Sales in Ocala and Bellevue. Prestige. It's all there in our name. 
Fox News Radio, I'm Karen McHugh. It's snowing heavily in the northeast already, but the worst part of the storm should strike overnight. Two to four inches of snow an hour for the Jersey Shore, up towards New York, Long Island, Boston, Bangor, Maine. And this is going to be a duration of 24, 48 hours easily within the potential of blizzard conditions. Fox meteorologist Janice Dean, the governor of New York, says this storm could be historic. This storm is going to be serious, and uh, it's nothing to be trifled. With. Andrew Cuomo, who's declared a driving ban beginning at 11 p.m. A Washington man claims he's the one who crashed a small drone onto the White House lawn. A Washington, D.C. resident has come forward to say the drone is his and that the entire incident was an accident. According to the Secret Service, the unidentified man claims he was using the drone recreationally. Fox Radio's John Decker. Fox News, we report, you decide. America was built by people with a few dollars and a dream. And while many don't know it, there's one path to success that still only requires a dream and about $10. That's right. If your dream is to start or grow your business, something as simple as the right business card could make all the difference. And today at Vistaprint.com, you can get 500 full-color business cards for only $9.99. That's right. Only $9.99. Just go to Vistaprint.com and enter promo code 4433 at checkout. That's Vistaprint.com, promo code 4433. As a retired teacher, I look for ways to save money for the things I love, like traveling the world. Medicare plans change each year. Fortunately, my HealthMart pharmacist helped me understand my insurance, saving me money on prescriptions. And they can help you, too. My pharmacist cares about my health and the things I love, whatever that might be. HealthMart, caring for you and about you. Visit HealthMart.com for the locally owned pharmacy near you. Hey, it's Chrissy with Ocala Mac and PC Repair and Ocala Guest Wi-Fi to let you know we have you covered. We are the only local certified Apple and Microsoft computer company in Ocala. We are family owned and operated from mobile repair to wireless networks, viruses, new systems, or security cameras. We do it all. Check us out online, OcalaMacPC.com, or give us a call, 352-566-8324. Tell them Nick, Madison, or Mason sent you and get free diagnostic. Get your internet telephone service from the company that brought affordable internet service to Ocala in the first place. All is safe is a sister company of Ocala Guest Wi-Fi, a company you've known and trusted for all your internet needs. Whether you need a phone or hundreds, we've got the products and services to meet your needs both now and in the future. Our plans include everything from local and long-distance calling to equipment maintenance and even software upgrades. You can count on all is safe to give you cost certainty knowing that your bill will be the same next week, next month, or even next year. Call 352-450-8647 today. Tell them how to cut your monthly telephone bill up to 60%. Let's face it, nowadays it can be hard to find American-made products, and that's something that Cabinet Sales of North Florida is well aware of. That's why they're an authorized dealer of well-born cabinetry, family-owned and American-made since 1961. Cabinet Sales of North Florida is your answer for complete turnkey kitchen remodels and whole house cabinetry. Their cabinets are finished with solvent-based enamels for a long-lasting finish that's second to none. Available in an incredible selection of door styles and colors to choose from to turn your dream kitchen into a reality. In-house design Design and drawing services are available. Come by and see our displays for yourself at the Floors of the Villages, 3935 County Road 216 in Oxford, or Exquisite Design Kitchen and Bath in Bellevue, right across the street from the Bellevue Library. So whether you're looking for bookcases, kitchen, bath, or outdoor kitchen, Cabinet Sales of North Florida is your one-stop source of quality cabinets. For a free estimate, call 352-427-2647. That's 352-427-2647. Cabinet Sales of North Florida. ask you what your most favorite Super Bowl moment was and uh, we'll get Tom's view of that too and our friend Fran Spirit of course has seen a few in his day and but first we're going to talk to Franz about some around pigskin 
the basketball, which uh, did not bounce the Gators' way again. And now it's time to start getting seriously concerned about this Gator basketball team. They lost three of their last four. They can't seem to put the win together, even when Michael Frazier gets his baskets. And I don't know where to go, and I'm sure Billy Donovan does. And, France, where should the Gator basketball team go with this? Well, I, buddy, I think that Billy is perplexed. I, I think that he's never had this situation before where he can't get everybody on the same page for a full ball game. Uh, there's no excuse for what happened Saturday. That was just a complete breakdown. Uh, out front, uh, a guy gets picked off by by a ball screen that you know is coming because they'd run the same play exactly. like two or three times. Yeah. And they, and. and you just can't do that. Eli, Car- uh, Eli Carter's got to know that pick's going to be there. He can't. He can't play that way. I mean, he, he knows better than that. You know, I mean, yeah. and and just so many parts. Something's breaking down almost every week. You think you know? Think that's fixed? It's like the boy with a finger in the dike, friends. And you keep plugging it in, and it leaks someplace else. Well, every t- buddy, every time that that you do think that it's fixed, as you said something new happened and it, it comes back down to to if you look at what we had here the last four years we had great leaders we had senior leaders we had junior leaders we had guys who were willing to lead by example and even you know even when the, the, everything didn't bounce their way you knew that these guys were were going to come away with at least a real shot at winning. Now, you can say they had a real shot at winning Saturday, but they have a lead and there's nine seconds to go and somehow or another, you know Ole Miss is going to score. You never had that feeling in the last couple Boy, of years. Boy, did we you have it now. We certainly did now. You knew what was going to happen. You could feel it happening. You could see it happening and it was a self-fulfilled prophecy, wasn't it? Yes, it was. In the, in the last couple of years and especially you knew when that other team, when the other team got the basketball, you knew somebody's going to make a stop. You knew it. This team, um, they play defense. It seems like when they want to, and they don't always want to. And that's why I think that's the part that probably frustrates Billy Donovan more than anything else. Is you've got to, you know, defense is a matter of want to. It's it's if you look at if if you look at the team that Florida put on the the floor last year there weren't any guys there there were high draft picks none of them none of those guys are playing in the nba but what happened was you had four guys that played led by example and you knew that when they got out on that floor they were they were going to to give everything they had they were going to spill their guts and leave them on the floor you know you, you look at last year and add up the points and it was just a handful of points that separated the Gators from a, from a, a, almost an undefeated season. It, it, these guys right here that you can look at it and say, well, they're a handful of points away from being instead of 10 and nine it's being 16 and three or 15 and four, but you don't get the feeling with these guys that it's ever going to be there consistently. You don't get the feeling with these guys that you're going to get a maximum sustained effort for 40 minutes. Yeah, now you uh, got to go to feeling that now you got to go to ta- to up to uh, Tuscaloosa, playing a physically tough game against a good team that's you know still hungry. All the they're thirteen and six, um, and three and three in the conference, and you know that uh, they're going to have their hands full because this team is not prepared to win on the road in the SEC. I'm convinced. So it's going to be a tough year because I don't see this team right now as it sits of going to the tournament. That's just my take on it. What about yours? I would say, I would say the NIT is right now is a long shot. Yeah. All and right. unless they can string something together in a hurry, yeah. it's going to be it's going to be very very tough to sled it. Yeah. All right. Now you got one more quick thing to do. Pick the Super Bowl real quick and uh, and and give me your winner. My head tells me it's the Seattle Seahawks. My heart tells me it's the Patriots. My head goes with my head wins on this one, and it, I mean, it, it's going to be Seattle. I just they Seattle does too many things right too much of the time. All right, good enough. Thanks, France. Appreciate it, Francis Beard from uh, FightingGators.com. Knows a lot about basketball. We call him Mister 
Mr. Basketball, Mr. College Basketball. And one of these days soon, there'll be one of those columns surfacing out there. Look for it. We'll tell you about it. Thanks, France. Appreciate it. All right, take a break. Come back. Joe Williams from Mile High Sports in Denver joins us next right here on Buddy Sports Page. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. Regions Bank has big bank ability, but possesses small bank agility. Utilizing tools like Raymond Andrews and his team of six mortgage experts with 100 years of experience in the mortgage industry and 50 years experience as members of the Regions Bank team. Mortgage lending is personal and important, and you deserve someone that will lead you through a positive process. Raymond and his team use local mortgaging processes like local appraisers and local closing to help you have a positive experience, and they habla espanol as well. So whether you need a conventional, FHA, USDA, or VA loan, or you even need a construction loan, the mortgage team of your local region's bank has the knowledge and experience to guide you through the process. So contact Raymond Andrews and his team of mortgage experts at 352-854-4104. That's 352-854-4104. Region's Bank, it's time to expect more. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And so is State Farm agent Angie Lewis, working hard to serve her community as a citizen and insurance agent. Angie wants to help you as you adjust your insurance needs to your life. From everything to helping educate your teen driver to protecting your family against everyday risk. She wants to change the way you perceive insurance by developing relationships with their clients, which is why Angie and her staff are proud to be a part of so many good causes in Ocala. In turn, she has chosen to single out those who step up as leaders. Each month on The Voice of Ocala, Angie spotlights a good neighbor, saluting those who give exceptional service or do random acts of kindness to others. For this, Angie was written up in State Farm's National magazine and she also supports local businesses with a regular biz buzz hi i'm state farm agent angie lewis come see me and my team for all your insurance and financial needs in the beautiful downtown historic district 416 east fort king street or call 291-2444 PPIR is a networking group formed to serve the realtor and small business community. It primarily serves the real estate and construction industry, but is open to all businesses that provide any service or product to the real estate business community. PPIR has no membership dues or fees for attendees. The watchwords are keep it simple and maximize networking time. PPIR chapters generally meet once a month after business hours. For the information on this, call 352-615-9412 or go to events at PPIRevents.com. PPIR, professional people in real estate. Looking for something fun and exciting? The Water Circus from Italy is returning to Ocala at the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion on January 30th to February 1st. Because of popular demand, Circus Italia is making extra stops in the area. Even better, they're offering a special discount for our listeners only. At the circus, you can get one free child ticket with every adult ticket if you say source. For the first time in America, this unique water circus has limited show dates in Ocala for just the weekend of January 30th through February 1st. Daredevils will amaze you with performances on a 35,000-gallon custom water stage. See death-defying stunts, laser man, mermaid, and a singing man upside down, all under the white and blue tent by performers from around the world. Plus, after each show, everyone can meet the performers and take pictures with them for free. Circus Italian is finally here at the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion, so bring the family. Look for the big white and blue big top tent. Kids of all ages are welcome. This weekend happening now. You've got a garden and we've got a show for you called You've Got a Garden with your host, Master Gardener Carol Ann Baldwin. Carol Ann answers your questions about your flowers, your veggies, your grass, your trees, even questions about your bugs. And she's only on WOCA, so don't miss Carol Ann Baldwin and You've Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on WOCA The Source. time to go talk to the man that the Nebraska Cornhuskers hate more than any person on the face of the earth. The Gaza. He's a Husker hater. Well known in those parts out there in the Mile High country. He's host of the Mile High Sports along with Irv Brown. That would be Joe Williams. Husker hater and Husker baiter. You are a baiter too. I forgot about that. How are you, Joe? 
Do you, do you remember, buddy, when the, uh, uh, it was, I believe it was the Omaha World Herald declared me and Dave Logan public enemy number one yeah. and 1A? <laughs> Dave Logan, for those who don't know, is the guy who calls the Broncos games, and you hear him on the highlights on the ESPN. Joe and he did some work together. Yeah, you guys had some fun with that. And those were those days when, um, you know, Nebraska was beating everybody up by 100 points to nothing. And uh, every, right. now and then, every now and then you'd write a poem <laughs> just to tick <laughs> off the people up in Omaha. And uh, that's before they had a, a lot of inter- internet stuff. That would have been a great internet, a little war there with those words. But uh, remember, buddy, I'd always every week I'd have my weekly college top ten, and I never had them in it. <laughs> you never, no matter that might be number one in the poll, but they would not show up in the top ten. Now, no. <laughs> trust me on this, you should do a bottom ten too one time. And yeah. If you ever had the opportunity to put Nebraska in, uh, you I know, think uh, I did that. Yeah, I think I did that one time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what was the guy that we were doing the talk show, and he and we, he called in one time and talked about something about his divorcing his wife that was so – what was it? That thing he did was so funny. Remember that? It was oh, a, I do, oh, yeah. It was a hilarious phone call we had there. Yeah, yeah, it sure was. But I digress, we digress, and I know you like to have a little action on things, and it looks like this thing is starting up now with uh, once they get past, past Inflategate, it's all about uh, making bets. And, you know, the Super Bowl is just a huge celebration of food – of uh, uh, festivities, parties, what have you, and of course wagering, and uh, and and I know you've been known to bet a bob or two. And are you tempted a little bit <clears throat> as we look at this on the first day of the week, Monday? Seattle is a two-point underdog. Yeah, just like they were last year. They were, I think, they were a two and a half point underdog. Denver at uh, kickoff, and uh, for reasons that uh, I have yet to figure out. Uh, after Denver, who had you know, beaten everybody by 50 points last year, and then all of a sudden they were only a two-point, two-and-a-half-point favorite. You had to figure there was something in the wind, and, of course, we all know what that was. This year, uh, I think they've got them a number, and I think it's the kind of number that will involve uh, record-breaking uh, wagers in Las Vegas sports books. And I, I think they'll, I, I think they'll set records because I think uh, the the number should be about what it is about a pick'em, and that's what it ought to be. And uh, as far as who I like, uh, I, I'd have to go with the defending champion Seahawks, you know, until proven otherwise. And uh, I'm not, not that I would discount New England winning, which of course they could do. And uh, they're playing good football. And this certainly is not a slam dunk by any means, but. Uh, Russell Wilson is uh, against uh, Super Bowl winning quarterbacks. He's ten and zero. Did you know that? I did not, but that brings up the subject of the prop. And buddy, and, and buddy, and Tom, listen to this. In those games against Super Bowl winning, we're talking about uh, uh, Eli Manning. We're talking about Peyton Manning. We're talking Tom Brady. We're talking Aaron Rodgers. In those ten games, the Seahawks have won by an average of two touchdowns. Mm. Well, that's interesting. Now, the prop bets are interesting. They bring a lot of people into the bets right. in a game that aren't interested. And the one I saw just now was the odds on what color shower the winning coach will get, right. what color the Gatorade will be. Yeah, uh, I love those sucker bets. And if you look up sucker in the dictionary, you'll see my picture right there by it. <laughs> <laughs> speaking, speaking with Joe Williams of Mile High Sports, Joe, with, with so much in the media – this creation in the media about deflate, 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 and I'm so tired of it and everything. Now we got prop bets coming out, which is going to be good to take my mind away from it. The one I always like because I think it's the dumbest prop bet there is. Who who came up or, or how did they come up with this national anthem prop bet? Is that not the dumbest prop bet that there is out there? I'd say I'd be the first one in line. I understand it's the over under is two two minutes and two seconds. Is uh, I think that's what it is. And I don't even know who's singing it. But uh, I, I'll figure they always get nervous or they stumble or they forget the words. So I'd take the over on that. I know. Let me tell you something. Them Las Vegas sports books, you can bet on two cockroaches going up a wall. They'll figure out a way to get their money. <laughs> well, that prop bet history is the late Paul – well, not late. He's, he's ill right now. Paul Zimmerman, uh, Dr. Z, he used to time – the Star Spangled Banner every time I was in the press box with him. That's where it started as yeah. you know, prop bets. But the one, my favorite one is, is uh, the odds on whether Bill Belichick will smile during a game. Yeah, also the color of his hoodie. Yeah. And uh, the, the odds on favorite is gray, 
And then I think it's blue after that, and then I think red gets you the most for your money if he shows up in that. And they have Bill Belichick hoodie type. If the sleeves are cut, it's two to three. Sleeves intact, they're 11 to 10. Sleeves are going to be cut. They're playing this thing in Arizona. <laughs> you think so, but uh, we'll see. Uh, he may just – Belichick may, may go the opposite just to take us all off, you know? Yeah. Uh, any other ones, Joe, that you like in the prop bet? Uh, uh, one of the – one of the things I would do, and I recommend it to Tom, Dr. Williams' medicinal two-ball compound, and I think Tom is with me on that. He'll feel better after this weekend. And uh, he knows exactly what it is, too. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with that recommendation. You've given yeah. me many a uh, prescription when yeah. I had a cold, and I know what that is. Um, well, uh, here's one I like. Who will have the most passing attempts in the game? Brady is, is uh, minus 9.5, Russell Wilson plus 9.5. Wait a minute. Who will have the most the most passing, passing attempt? attempts in the game? Well, what is the plus nine and a half? Sound? I guess that means he what would is be. That? I guess that means he'd be. Well, I don't know. It's a good question. What is it? You're the you're the gambling expert. Well, I, yeah, but see, that's why I'm asking you, buddy, because I've never heard it put that way. Yeah, I guess that means he'd have usually what they what the most. Do, he'd have the most. Like buddy, a, here's what here's yeah. what they'll do. You know, one of them, if you like, one of them, you lay 190 to win 100. Yeah. The other one, you lay 100 to win 190. Yeah. All right. Now, that's how they normally will put those things like that. Yeah. I don't know this why they're putting plus, odds like this that. This plus yeah. nine and a half, minus nine and a half. I don't get that. Yeah. I don't understand either. I, I'm with you on that. So. I, I, yeah. How about total passing yards, Tom Brady, 260 and a half, over, under? I'd say under. I, I, I don't, you know, uh, the only way it uh, it goes over uh, is if the Seahawks are out in front, you know, by two or three touchdowns and, and uh, New England's passing on every down. Of course, you know, in the second half against the Ravens, they never passed, they never handed the ball off one time. Every play was a pass play. And, uh, uh, but uh, if it's a close game, which I think it'll probably be pretty close, you know, I, I'm looking at, you know, something like 21 to 17 or 21 to 19 or. Something like that. If in the fourth quarter, it's close. I I don't think they'll be throwing an awful lot. I'd say under two hundred and sixty yards. Hmm. By the way, Idina Menzel Menzel is uh, singing a national anthem, so I'm taking the over on two hundred two as well. Like you would know. Now, I know Very who good. she. I know who she is. I, the she's way I figure, a, she's a big Broadway star. The way I figure it, country singers are under. Everybody else is over. <laughs> There's a strategy for you, Joe. You hadn't thought of, I'm sure. <laughs> Joe, what about this? Over or under viewers, the game will have 113 million. Uh, I'm going over. I think it's going to be the most watched Super Bowl in history. I'll go over too. Like Absolutely. Said, like he said, Vegas can get two cockroaches running up a wall, buddy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I think this has a. I mean, you got a lot of appeal here uh, because you know a lot of people hate the Seahawks, and with Belichick. You know who's no, you know his the perception that he's a cheater. So you're going to have half the country rooting for him to lose. Uh, you know they want to see him walk off there a loser. I think it's going to draw a big crowd, and uh, rightly so. I think it's going. I, th- I think it's going to be a very good football game. I agree with you, Joe, and I'm, I hope we'll get past this other stuff. Here's the final one, which I think in, cross sports, which will have the higher on the games played. Kobe Bryant total points. Tom Brady passing attempts. <laughs> well, Kobe Bryant's hurt. Yeah, well, that, that's why I'm, I'm bringing it up to you. <laughs> I, I'm sure it's off the board by now. Yeah, uh, I'm sure it is, too. Yeah, exactly. I, I, think yeah. I, know, I know how to go on that one. <clears throat> right. So, yeah. Off the right. Board. All right, Joe, we've got about a minute. Give us your prediction. I'll go with Seattle. Close game. Let's call it uh, uh, 24 to uh, 24-21. 24-21. Can we take that to the bank? No. Oh, okay. It's, there, 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 there are no money back guarantees on this one because <laughs> I believe it's an even game. I, I think both right. teams uh, are set up to play g- good football. They play good defense. I think you got coaches that know what they're doing, and uh, I, I like this game. I like the matchup just to watch it. You know, not to not to bet it, but I'll I'll go out on a limb and say Seattle because they're the defending champs. All right, Joe Williams, my high sports. Thanks, Joe. We appreciate it, buddy. Thank okay, you. fellas. All, All right. right. Our thanks to Joe Williams. Of course, our thanks also to. Uh, Woody Page and to uh, Franz Beard, also to Palmer Level and Howie George. On behalf of my broadcast partner, Tom Schmitz, I'm Buddy Martin. Have a great night, everybody.
Let's give it up for old asphalt and a new pair of shoes. Let's give it up for a good rhythm meeting a sweet melody. For a church cookout under clear skies. Let's give it up for good things coming together, like bundling your auto and other policies together with an Allstate agent, which can save you time and keep you better protected. Let's give it up for good. To receive your comparative insurance quote, contact the McDonald Agency at 622-2333. Stay with us and sleep better at the Sleep Inn and Suites of Ocala Bellevue. Located next door to Don Garlitz Museum and a few minutes from Florida Horse Park, our award-winning newly refreshed Sleep Inn and Suites offers comfy, clean rooms, free, fast Wi-Fi, and service with a smile. Start your day with a deluxe hot breakfast and unwind in our heated outdoor pool. Our convenient 24-hour fitness and business centers allow you to stay on track whether you're here to play or to work. That's Sleep Inn and Suites, Ocala Bellevue. Proud sponsor of College of Central Florida Basketball. If you've been hearing about the crowd at Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill and were worried because you couldn't get in, I've got some good news for you. Seating is now available. While you're there, look up Chef Dave Del Rio. He'll buy you a drink. Now is the time for you to finally see firsthand what your friends are talking about. At Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill, try Chef Dave's tantalizing Clarisiana menu. Check out those gorgeous Lakeware sunsets. Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill on beautiful Lakeware. Seating now available. Nestle in the heart of horse country, just off I-75, exit 354, the award-winning and newly refreshed Howard Johnson Inn of Ocala invites you to pamper yourself in one of our comfy guest rooms. Enjoy our free and fast Wi-Fi, heated outdoor swimming pool, 24-hour fitness center, and our deluxe continental breakfast. Other on-site amenities include a restaurant, putt-putt, golf, and a car wash. Go happy, go hojo at the Howard Johnson Inn of Ocala. Proud sponsor of College of Central Florida Basketball on 